Okay, so we've talked about the transport, we've talked about the bar ruler, we've talked about key commands. Those are all really powerful ways to navigate Logic Pro. And as you're recording, there's a couple other things I'd like to talk about. Things that you're going to need often. Uh, something like undo, okay? Everyone knows about undo, and there are some really powerful ways to get to the undo uh, commands of Logic. So if we just go to edit undo history, you'll see a number of things. Now if I had done, if I had made some edits, what would be showing up in this window is a list of all the edits that I made. And you can navigate uh, back in your history. So let's say I made a, you know, I was working on a couple tracks and uh, made a bunch of cuts and pastes and things like that. And I just, you know, I ended up screwing the project up. I can go back to that original uh, state the original state of of the project and you know no harm no foul so that's something good to know you can just go command Z and you can also go up here and go to the undo history and the last thing I'll talk about today is something else you'll be doing a lot in your arrange window uh, that's selecting tracks and regions so you'll notice that selected tracks are highlighted you'll also notice that I have cycle mode on and every time I select one of these tracks, it selects the area in between these cycle locators. If I turn that off and select the track again, it selects all of the tracks. So there's going to be some you know, really powerful ways of selecting um, just parts of, of a track, uh, the entire track, and other select criteria. So that's something to look out for if you wonder why maybe you're, uh, you're not selecting the entire track. Maybe you'll have cycle mode on and it's only going to select what's in cycle mode. So I turn that off and now whenever I select the track it selects the whole thing. You can also select things individually within the uh, arrange area. If I click on an area it selects it. If I click and you know drag it creates a marquee and I can get all the pieces that I want. Now what if I want you know these last pieces as well? If I hold down shift and drag, it selects um, everything that I it adds to the selection, everything that I surrounded with the marquee. So let's do this up here. Shift and drag, and I've selected all of these. So this is a way if I want to select you know, just certain parts of the uh, arrange window. It's very easy to do. You can also shift click different tracks or different regions on the track. And just for the sake of uh, clarification, all of these are regions. Okay, The track is this. It's this entire horizontal track. And a region is part of the track. So here's this region, here's this region, here's this region. So I can select multiple regions, like so. All of this will become second nature to you. I've been showing you a lot of things that you can do with the mouse. There's other things that you can do with keys, uh, arrow keys, for example. I'm just moving the up and down arrow keys right now and I'm moving through tracks and every time I do that it selects the entire track. So that's something that you might want to do. If I hit arrow keys you can see now it's going through the regions on that track. If I go down selects the next track. If I hit the arrow keys it starts cycling through the different regions on that track. So there's many many ways of navigating logic depending on what's most comfortable for you. If you like the mouse, if you like the keyboard, if you like key commands, if you like uh, dragging, whatever, it's going to be there for you. I mean, there's it's a really deep program and I just want to get you comfortable with some of the um, possibilities that Logic Pro will offer you as well as some of the really obvious things that you'll be using such as selecting tracks, um, navigating using the transport and the bar ruler, and of course undo Command Z. Never forget that. So we at Logic Studio Training hope you've enjoyed this beginner series. 
And if you'd like to continue, we're going to be doing a lot more of these videos, and we'd love for you to become a member and get access to all of them. All of our premium content is available once you're a subscriber. You can download it, watch it on your iPhone or on your computer. You can uh, watch it over the web, or you can put it in iTunes, whatever you want. We just want you to become members so you can become a real powerful user of Logic Pro and start making great music and producing great tracks and discover the joy of finishing a project using Logic Pro. It's going to be an awesome feeling once you've done that and we want to help you do that. So consider subscribing. We hope you've enjoyed this tutorial series and we would love to see you as a member. So thanks for watching and see you around.